Okay, so there were some questions on exactly how you can go about making your own um, AV out cable for your SJ4000. And so I just thought I'd make a quick video. I had a few people asking me to, to explain this. Um, I wasn't sure if my SJ4000, my particular um, SJ4000, was capable of supporting AV out. Uh, the firmware it came with was the 0527 firmware. And uh, based on that, people were saying it should support AV out. It had a TV out um, option in the menu. Um, but I'd actually opened up my casing and noticed that uh, the date stamp on the version of the PCB was April 28th, 20, 2014. And so um, that led me to believe that perhaps the PCB in my camera was older, but the LCD was newer. Um, there was some speculation that there could be variants out there. Um, so anyway, my first attempt was basically taking USB cable, cutting the end off of the of the larger of the larger end that you would plug into your computer, and um, trying to just use the leads off of that. And for whatever reason, I totally missed the the concept of the fact that uh, the SJ4000 itself, um, if you look at the USB port on there, actually uses. Um, pin 4 and pin 5 for AV out and not necessarily uh, the ones that are available on a standard micro USB cable and so I'm getting let me get into that now basically um, what I did was I, I took a cable and I stripped uh, I stripped everything off of it I cut into uh, the outer end the wrap that would goes, goes around the outer end which was like a rubber material on this particular cable and then underneath of that was a white plastic layer that I had to take off as well but that got me down to uh, the, the actual the actual leads themselves, the pins, and so um, this this particular cable and actually another one that I cut into was slightly different than what I was seeing online in terms of um, where the first three pins show up, and these are actually pins one, three, and five. Um, everything I saw made me think that they should appear on the the upper round side, but they didn't for this cable and one of the other ones I looked at. So I just kind of rolled with it, and again, these are pins 1, 3, and 5 on this side. And since we know that the SJ4000 uses pins 4 and 5, uh, this black ground cable is coming out of pin 5, so that, that's going to come in handy. You're going to need that. And if we flip it over, um, you have the pins 2 and pins 4 here. So 2 would be on the right side in this case, because I flipped it, and pin 4 was empty. There's just nothing... There's nothing um, actually soldered into that lead. So what I ended up doing was I took the white lead and snipped it. I snipped off all the cable actually. Um, it was rather long so I snipped it off and I just decided to choose the white lead and um, and basically uh, took the insulation off and soldered it onto pin 4. And so once I did that I was able to um, take pin 4 and pin 5 let me see if I can get this in focus here and and you know directly wrap them into a composite cable so that's what I did here you can see that my black lead right here is coming from pin 5 and that goes into uh, the ground of the composite cable and then the yellow signal cable gets my new white cable and I used white in this case you can use whichever one you like but I soldered the white lead to pin 4 so that goes to the signal on the composite cable and that's what I ended up using to you know to, to tie into this composite cable so that's it that's all you need to do um, again the key the missing link for me was the fact that you know I really I actually needed to solder into pin 4 and uh, once I did that I got AV out you can see it on uh, one of my other videos that I had posted um, sometime last week where I was actually testing it I'll put a link to it in this video so if you have any other questions, let me know. Feel free to ask them in the comments. And let me know if you find this helpful. Um, I wish I had a video like this when I was attempting this myself because it really made it clear on exactly what I needed to do. Um, again, you know, pins 1, 3, and 5 are on the side where you see the three leads. And on the other side, you're going to have two and an empty for four. And so you just need to solder another lead into that empty fourth pin and use that as your signal. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.